Okay, okay. wait, brace. I don't Hi know. everyone! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, it's right! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, you're in for a treat today because I've managed to grab literally half an hour with the amazing Gillian Dempsey. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for um, having me. If you don't know who Gillian Dempsey is, I'll put some links below, but safe to say that you have been a pro jobbing makeup artist for uh, eek, like almost 30 years. A long time. Yeah. Um, so pro doesn't even come into it, like it is your life. It's my life. It's your life. I live. Um, and Gillian has, you will have seen if you watch these regularly, and if not, why not? Rude. Um, you will have seen that I've featured Gillian's, Gillian's lid tints before. They look like this. Um, and I just thought while you were here and I, cause when they arrived, I hadn't finished my makeup. So I thought we were going to talk about sort of your skincare picks and tips for traveling and things like that. So being greedy, as we know, I thought if Gillian does a very quick eye on me, as in super quick, not my usual quick, which takes four hours, as we know. And then we'll go through and we'll just make it like a mishmash. And then yeah. you lot love that, it's fine. So you can tell them what you're gonna do to me and I'm game for anything. Okay, great. I love it. So so I have a coal eyeliner, mm -hmm. which is creamy. And um, I'm gonna show you my fastest trick to get the fastest high. They'll be watching now because okay. my fastest okay. is always like 20 minutes. No, this is gonna, this is, this will be fast, but okay. I, haven't, I haven't done your makeup before. So no. we're gonna have to like work with each other here. But like, you'll be, you'll be right. fine. So I just want you to like look eyes down, right? So I'm gonna take the uh, coal eyeliner and I'm gonna go to the tight line and I'm just gonna do little tiny, not, I don't wanna get it too low. I just wanna stay right between the lashes. Mm. So that's, that just fills in any little spaces, any little holes. There's lots. Yeah, well, not too many. It's okay. And then, so once once I got this, I, once I have a little tiny line drawn on this side, mm -hmm. this side, as we're doing our fast, fast little tutorial. Um, and I love this because, you know, you can curl your lashes after this, which I don't know, we didn't. It feels really soft. It is very soft. It's creamy. It's so easy to wear. It's it's kind of like this this color in particular is my everyday go-to. What color is it? Rich brown. Oh, I know it sounds boring to be no, brown, it sounds but it's just perfect. sort of like perfect. Now, I like to use this is my Colt favorite. People get they get a little bit afraid when they hear like red around the eyes, but I love it. It's called Ruby. Mm -hmm. um, and did I say that these are organic, or have we mentioned no. that? No. They're about 65, 70% organic. Wow. Uh, Gluten-free, so if you feel like you want to eat them, you can do that too. But people do get reactions if they have yeah. gluten, gluten intolerance. That's they, true. They can't use certain makeup and skincare. I'm That's always true. us. I had, to add, I had to add, is it gluten-free to my reviews? Because yeah, so many absolutely. people were asking. Good so gluten-free, on the PETA list, same to me. Oh, you use your thumb. I do. I'm a thumb girl. Can you make sure you get that, Ben? She, Jillian just literally went like that with her thumb. I'm so excited. Something new. Something I know. new. Yeah. A thumb girl. So anyway, I'll just hold this up. I'm going to just gently start to tap on your lid. It's literally like if you start to think you're making a mistake, you just take another finger and just sort of move it, and move it about. It. Yeah. And and the nice thing is there's a little tiny sheeny glow. It's not I it's not a gloss. Glow it's not eye. it's not a gloss. It's more of a, a sheen. Yeah. So the nice thing for a person who's intimidated to put eyeshadow on is like if you make a mistake, it's so easy, so easy to just to get rid of. Yeah, you can just kind of like use your finger to clean it up. You know the other world famous makeup artist who only uses her fingers, Mary Greenwell. Oh yeah. She does everything with her fingers. She'll okay. she'll finish off with a bit of brush on things that need a brush. Like yeah, if she yeah, needs yeah. a quick powder, but everything, all of the blending, everything is fingers. Well, I, I know my fingers are clean. Yeah. And, um, that helps. Yeah. So you've already, like I haven't really done anything, but already if you just look right now, mm. you've got this. How Ooh, long did that take me. us? Seconds. See, Jillian actually does mean quick eye. Mm. But then, if we want to do, this is another little trick I like to do when I'm in, in, in an extreme hurry and I want a little more of, of definition and wash. I draw just kind of like this upside down little, like little, maybe it's just like a half circle upside down V almost, mm -hmm. if you will. And it can be as sloppy as you With like. The just take a look. It's really kind <gasps> of like sloppy, right? And then you just take your blending brush. Um, 
any kind of loose hair brush and you just work it in. Wow. That you can quick. you can dip back into your mm -hmm. you can dip back into the ruby to the lid tint. So you you, you get it, you're soft enough to work together. I've yeah. never known a curl pencil you could just draw onto your eyelid. Yeah, I'm drawing and then it's it's so easy that you can just kind of scribble in a way. And then just dip back in like it's a little paint. Dip back in. And what this does is it just gives it gives a little more definition, adds a little more wash. They merge together and it's it's kind of like you can just then take a step back, take a look at your eyes and it, and make the adjustments. So if you've like gone a little bit overboard, you know, you could just do this. Blend it away. Blend it away. Is There's there anything no you line. wouldn't do on my eye because I've got such a, such a big eye lid? Is there anything you would say stay away from or definitely do this or? Well, okay, if I'm looking at your face right now, mm -hmm. I mean, I probably want to go in here a little bit more mm -hmm. just because I'm seeing something right here and right here. Do you see how it kind of like there's a little elevation with your eye? Well, that's where I had my lids done okay. and the tear ducts had protruded and they've come back through again. Oh. So I might have to have it done again. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Tear ducts. So, so because of that, mm -hmm. I, I which is my obsession. So tell me. Oh yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I would just, I would, I would say that you take a look here mm -hmm. and take, and just go a little darker here. Mm -hmm. Like take this a little bit darker because anything that's like sticking out, that's elevated, you, you want that push back you want in. Push back mm -hmm. in. Literally, so that, in my case. <laughs> so the way you would do that is just draw a little more color. Mm. In my opinion, I mean, I I'm all for like a really natural eye. I yeah. love a little natural glow. Mm -hmm. Um. And and the thing about the lid tints, you can mix them with your powders. So for example, if we took a dark espresso brown right mm -hmm. now and I took this I took another like little crease brush mm -hmm. and we put a little more I would put the accent for you just based on your face I'd put the accent right here right I would go right there and add a little literally espresso. above the yeah the sort right of here you feel that space yeah, yeah yeah there and there because that's kind of pronounced and, and we want that it. to See? Yeah, but we, but we haven't done that, but that's what I would do. Interesting. Um, and then if you wanted to, if you look up a little bit, you can always do, this is my favorite thing. If I ever want to get kind of like a sexy lived in, yeah. worn in sort of eye, I, you can use the back it's of this. It's so soft. You can just do this. Normally when people come at your eyes, you're like, ah, ah, ah. Look that way a little bit. I'm going to just go. I love it when it tickles. You're trying not to move. So if you are going, if you're going to run out the house and you've got like, you can only use five products, for example, how would, what would you be, what would you be your priority if you wanted to do a quick face? I mean, concealer, because Obviously. It, uh, concealer, well, you can always spot base and cover yeah. the areas that you need, but yeah. anything that's like red or anything that's just needs to get covered. Mm -hmm. um, if you're shiny, definitely a powder, mm -hmm. a little pressed powder. Um, I love myself an eyeliner, not yep. gonna lie. I just always want to have an eyeliner because there's so many things you can do with an eyeliner. You can build it. Well, you can it. do them with yours, definitely. I mean, you can build it and just make, turn it into an eye. Like if I wanted right now to make, like if you look at your eyes now, mm -hmm. if I wanted to, I could probably, because you have big eyes, I could probably make it a little more rocker, a little heavier. You can I, do that. I could probably <laughs> just go on your inner water line here. I've found since I had my eyes done, if I don't do my waterline, my eyes look almost like they're too open. Does that make sense? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks a bit like the bottom lid is too heavy. Yeah. Whereas if I fill it, I don't, it doesn't particularly make my eyes look any smaller, but it gives them a bit of a... 
Do you like how I'm like, mur, mur, it's fine, I've got it. Direction. <laughs> no, I, I, so, so now that you've had your eyes done, you feel like you want to put the water line. Yeah, now I want to do something with We have big eyes, them. so yeah. if you have big eyes, it's so nice. It's a cool look. If you have small eyes, it's a different story. Yeah. But I also tell women who have small eyes who think they can't wear a line, that's not true. Yeah. Because you can, you just blend it, it makes your eyes look bigger. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You just kind of draw a line and smudge it and your eyes become with the illusion of like looking a lot. Sure. This is so much fun. Who would have thought when I started a blog ranting about how people should wash their face properly, I would have Gillian Dempsey doing my freaking makeup! <laughs> Woohoo! Woo this is fun too because I just, <laughs> I don't like being on camera so I'm just forgetting the camera's there and I'm just treating this Carry like, on. hey, we're, we're hanging out. So, because you have these lash extensions on, mm. we're not going to curl because they'll get yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so, fine. I'm, I'm basically, again, for those of you who watch, I have lash extensions. I thought I just want to have a break from them and get my own lashes back up to strength and speed. So I'm doing that over the Christmas holidays. So poor Gillian is dealing with one eye that's a bit like this, and this one's got like three like this. We're gonna try and sort this out. <laughs> so good luck with that. Yeah. No challenge. <laughs> do most of your clients use lash extensions, or do you put fake no. eyelashes on them? I they all have their own. Usually, I usually will fill in. Yeah. Um, where they're lacking. But, yeah. You know. We do try and find like the best mascara th that suits each client. Okay, each individual. top three mascaras, top of your head. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, well the one that's kind of like th that I know that I will can never live without is uh, Shiseido, believe it or not. It's the mm. blackest black. Oh. It's kind of water resistant and it never drops, never, it never lets me down. What's so it I, called? It's a um, Shiseido uh, twisty, I'll oh, have okay. to look it I'll, up. No, I'll um, find it's it. The one that has, I'll like, find it and put a link below. Luke, yeah, make yeah, a note. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have it. I, I, it's my a kit staple for me. Interesting. I love DHC, but it, it, um, it's a little bit more of a natural lash. Not great for filming in camera. Eh, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, the secure is kind of like I'm loving this one right here. Look, mm. this is filling it, filling it in. Great. Um, I mean, a lot of the clients I have. Do you, they they have a preference for mm -hmm. for mascara? Of course, I, feel, I think mascara uh, is really personal. It isn't is it? very personal. Yeah. Um. So. Um. Dior show is great. Uh. Mm -hmm. it, it's you know builds volume. I I'm not I'm not uh, mad at Dior show. I'm sort of like always testing the market, trying new. Okay, favorite foundation. Well, right now, Kevin Aquan Ethereal. Oh, yeah. I love, I love that. I love mixing that right now. Yeah. I'm a mixer, so I'll put like three pumps out. I'll mm -hmm. put a light, a medium, a dark, and then you blend. And I and then I blend. I have it on a little palette, and so I that's, just blend. So that's now it. that's proper artist, because my husband's yeah. a painter. Yeah. He's the arty dude. I'm the he's tactical. You know, he'll be walking around Sainsbury's going, or the supermarket going, just move that would look better. And I'm like, just put it in the basket. <laughs> but he'll, he, when he does like life classes and stuff, they teach you to put all the shades of the skin on the palette. Right. Blend, come back and blend more right. if you haven't got the right color and blend well, again. Well, that's what, that's what Artists, we do all the time. We just, you know, it's like a wash of color. You just keep blending until you find it. Yeah. And you step back. I kind of squint one eye. Yeah, and you're look. properly, you yeah, and like Hannah a, Martin, you both go. Yeah, like a squint and a look <laughs> and a... But, but that's a good tip, I think, for also women to know. Sometimes if you just step back from the mirror and you kind of blur your vision a tiny bit yeah. to sort of get an overall view, the blurring of your vision to take a look at yourself sometimes will show you things you don't, things really you don't see. see yeah. So there's broad, there's a broad look and there's a detailed look. No, I just want you to know I am struggling right here with this eye. Oh, don't worry. This is, okay. this is fine. Don't that, worry. That eye is... This is spectacular to what I could do. Okay. Cause Cause, I'm, because I'm working I, Now it. I want to like jump in with some individuals. With some individuals. I have individuals, but we will stop there. Otherwise it yeah. will be insane. Yeah. Yeah. No, so, don't worry. So let's, let's, let's just give you a little one more hit. I'm going to use this brush. One more hit of the ruby. Because mm -hmm. I think we can amp it up on you. So, are there any products that you used to be obsessed with that have been discontinued oh. that you would bring back if oh you could? Oh my god, Mary Quant, hello. Oh. That was from I don't know how long ago, but um, 
I, yeah, there's, there's so many. And then you just try and track them down. Mm. Um, what about you? A skincare junkie. Yeah, I'm more, there's a very famous, well, nowadays, there's a, a cleanser that Clarins made called Extra Comfort, which was like a big fat pot of cream, but it, was the, yeah. it wasn't a thick texture. And they discontinued it to modernize it and destroyed it, which really pissed me off. Oh yeah. So myself and a friend, Michael Sally Hughes, we, we both just wax lyrical about this long forgotten cleanser and I've got three pots left. And I, the thing is, I know at some point they're gonna go bad, right. <laughs> but I don't care. I still am almost we trying that, to We say, call that vintage makeup. Yeah, vintage. Yeah, but with vintage. skincare, we open it, it the smell makes you hear oh, yeah. that's not so hot. That's not so hot. But, um, Which yeah. I, I might want to tell you now too, because these, these lid tints are organic. There is a shelf life of 18 months. And That's so fine. I know you, we're in England, so it's like, I recommend people in California keep them out of the heat. Yeah, of course. Um, but I think, especially in California, that would go down well. They would like the idea that they're using something that isn't gonna last four years, like a McDonald's burger. Take a look, Ruby. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Look at me with red oh, eyes. Look at you with red mm, eyes. Thank it's you. It's like kind of like a little culty little favorite of mine. Mm. It's like no, no, it's, why do we do that? Why do we start doing our hair Would when you we're like, looking at our and, eyes? And do, I don't know. What is that I just about? want to do like mirror face. <laughs> I see. I keep. I, I keep wanting. To, I keep wanting. I just want to. You want to play more. I just want to go more. Like, where are the lashes? Where is this? Mm. Should we tap your your bottom lashes? Go for it. Okay. Do you ever wear mascara on the bottoms? See, when I have my eyes done, yeah. You know, the, I'm not afraid to to say that the smoke on the first launch didn't come out the way I wanted it to right. come out. So I've trashed everything, mm -hmm. and then I relaunched smoke, and it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I think I have one here for you to see. But Ooh. I'm really excited. You know when you open something as a makeup artist and you're like, oh yeah. You just know you got I it. know. Yeah, this one I love. It's not, it won't be for everyone, mm -hmm. but. I'm excited. I just love the ease. I never thought yeah. I would get away from brushes. You know what I think you're going to like wearing? I know Ruby is just, we're doing this for your, for your, your show, but mm. um, what do you call the show? Hey, show works for me. Show. Yeah, the show. <laughs> um, I think that you would love wearing the bronze. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be great on you. And the peach. Mm. I think bronze and peach glimmer. I feel like that's nice. completely. But with, you know, this is just like a, this is more like a. Oh, yeah. Better, look. better with the bottom. Yeah. Kind of balance. I wish I see. We need we need the mirror to be twice. I, I don't want to look at me. I want to okay. look at only beautiful you. So I'm gonna get a new mirror in the office, and we're gonna call it the Jillian Dempsey That's right. mirror. It's gonna be my mirror. Because she was like, "Where's the mirror? I yeah. need a mirror." Like, where's the mirror? We have to have a mirror in here. We have to see what we're looking like. Happy? Um, I'm happy. That was quick. That was fast. I mean, again, we would be faster if we weren't talking and chilling, because that's the right. point of it. You start off thinking, oh, I'll do a five minute makeup. I mean, I, I, we can always add, like we can always just, I can always keep going. Like, if you look down, I can always just, this is another thing I like to do. Just tap in a little top line. We've already done your mascara, which this would have, this step would have been done prior to, but. So what's the, what's the biggest, let's say challenge or any sort of funny story from your career, obviously never naming names, but situations where you've thought, oh my God, what do I do? And you've managed to pull something out of the hat and well, fix that's it. it. It's interesting that you say that because the lid tints, mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes we get, as makeup artists, sometimes the eyes are just like too powdery. They're just not yeah. popping. They just look, they're not, they're, they're flat. just like, they're either flat, flat. Yeah, yeah, like a chalk eye, right? Yeah. So I think what's nice sometimes they're like little, little sheeny mixers. Yeah. So for example, if I'm like, oh my god, this, this eye is not doing anything for me, I'll grab like a little <laughs> bronze or a glimmer, shimmer to around, beef it up a bit, tap it in with the thumb. Some, I yeah, love that. I do the thumb a lot, <laughs> and then just tap that in, and then all of a sudden, bam, the eye's mm. just popping, and it looks great. So oh, nice. I think it's a trick. I think that's um, one of the little, you know, when it's not, it's not every day that it's going your way for, no, the, for eyes. Women, you know, have their cycles. They get 
puffy, they mm -hmm. have dark circles, they have just common problems, they might have a breakout, they might, something might be going on. So you always have to be prepared and have your kit ready to like counteract anything. I, I use this little like a, a gold bar for mm -hmm. sculpting. Have you ever seen mm -hmm. that? Where you just kind of sculpt and it's temporary but it's for like cheekbones. So I just sort of like to treat the face, mm. which I guess we could go into skincare for like. Okay, so let's yeah. go into skincare. So basically we, because we didn't have loads of time and we definitely didn't prep properly portugal but she's a pro and because i'm jet lagged yeah jet lagged and it's, you know, it's <laughs> and it's christmas period and everything's busy so we basically said why don't you just bring your favorite bits and we can talk through the bits of skincare that you're loving for you not necessarily for clients see i'm going wait i have to go, go right back to the spot this is the spot that you're going to have to use a little brown powder on well that's the right there. that's the eye that went that's first the duct? that's the yeah. one that needs doing yeah, so when they yeah. went in, they thought it was just going to be like fatty Do you like eyelids. how OCD like, wait. No, I like it. Wait. <laughs> and then afterwards they said, um, yeah, we got some eyelid fat out, as you would when you get your eyes done, but it was your tear ducts. And if they'd have wow. gone in and cut, I would have had dry eye. Oh, wow. You so, don't like that. No, so it was, but then of course, if you, so I don't know, I'm basically, I'm, I don't know if I'm prone to it and if it's worth doing the surgery again, or if they can go in again and fix it for final and then we're right. good. Right. But I need to try it again because I'm loving that there's more lift there, but then this always protrudes now. Yeah, yeah. Annoying. Well, see, so what, what I would say now is if we had like a dark espresso powder, is that we could just, you know, take the, the dark eyeshadow and then with you, I would start right here mm -hmm. and then I would just blend In that corner. into the lid tint right tonight. now. Yeah. That's what I would do with your eye right now mm -hmm. to, so that you could wear it because I think that that's going to still keep popping out. Yeah. Just in my... Yeah. So if I was walking down the red carpet to my Oscar wing, yeah. you'd be like behind be me that. going, dude, cover yeah. the bowl. No, we would, the bowl. we would have it all like sorted before you even <laughs> like stepped out on that carpet. Because there's no room do for you ever Do you ever do like a face that you then see on camera and think, holy shit, I've got to get to that stage side and fix that? Oh, uh, there's no going there. There's no going. Once you like, you know, Too I late. can text the girl and say like, yo, you know, put a little powder right here. That's the thing I feel like I always tell them, like, make sure that this is always powder mm -hmm. for the, because that when you walk on, like always, that seems to be kind of like well, strobing in the wrong things. way, you oh, know? Okay. So it's like always, it kind of moves up here. Where do you television. sit on the strobing and contouring and highlighting? I mean, you craze. know, I think everybody should just do it in, in, you know, whatever works with your with your regime. Whatever if you, you love do. yourself a good contoured, chiseled cheek and you want to do that and, and have the time in the day to do it, then go for it. Yeah. But for me, I'm kind of an easy on the go, finger friendly, like organic makeup. I, I'm still clinging to not necessarily something that would be considered the old regime, just something that is like fast, that works in a modern world where we're also like time efficient yeah. and we need something that we know works something mm -hmm. that we know is quick something that is not complicated and 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 hopefully something that would contribute to the planet in some kind of recyclable fashion like, and do no further you know, harm basically. yeah i mean really i mean everybody's kind of i think if, if we can all just try and like do our best i don't really it's like a beauty diet Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone subscribes to something different. Totally. I, I wouldn't tell you what to eat. I, why would you tell me what to eat? Yeah. I wouldn't tell you what religion. So, but in my mind, as a makeup artist, I look at it as an art form. So in an art form, how does it fit into your life? Does it fit into your life to do the contour? Is it something that you have time for? Something that looks good? Something that matches your skin tone? Um, are you gonna walk out in the daylight and that's just gonna like look bizarre? <laughs> yeah. And who are, who are you trying to attract? Is that for an editorial picture? Right. Is that for life? Is that if you're going to a wedding? Like, yeah, I get it. There's so many different levels to it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, talk us through skincare yeah. quickly. Okay, well I use uh, I use Walita skin, skin food um, almost on every client mm -hmm. because what I like to do is a thumbs again um, I love that you're a thumb girl. I'm a thumb girl. So, so when I use this, if you like, let's just say you had like, I'm prepping your face. I like to use the Shantikai eye pads, mm -hmm. the gold eye pads. So once those come off, then I'll just kind of tap this together, warm this up. And, and because it has, Amazing. and then I just do a little, little mini massage, like a little mini eye massage and just 
get it so and then and then I take a little tiny blotting powder because it does have a bit of sheen yeah and I'll just dab off where I feel like it's too you know much. it's a little bit too much it smells amazing yeah I, lo I love it I'm I'm obsessed and yeah, so that's skin food and I'll list these below don't worry that was this one sorry people um, What's next? So you've got something new yeah. from Japan, haven't you? Is that, was that oh, the one that's well, from Japan? What's thi that one from? This is that one, California. This is this is Japanese. I didn't buy this from Japan, but you know, this is Bybee, and this is a mist, which I think we tried earlier. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to spray you, but mm -hmm. how about I spray me? It's got a little hyaluronic acid in it. It just there you go. yeah, thanks. Um, it's amazing. It has a nice smell. It, it feels amazing. like yeah. I just like that. It, it feels like it's doing something on my yeah, skin, yeah, and of and I, my my skin actually asked oh, me for that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh God, I love a mist, especially one that's been had a bit more of a hyaluronic boost to it. Yeah, oh, it's the best. So, but this is three mm -hmm. a, a Japanese uh, recent trip to Tokyo. Um, obsessed. Love Can you it. get it's this in the bomb. States yet, or is it all from this? No. From, oh, amazing. See? I know. See? We'll get Millie to Maybe. bring it over. Yeah, get Millie to bring it over. Uh, Dr. Barbara Sturm, mm. she not only is a friend, but I am obsessed with her very clean. You can see that it's very clean. There's, mm -hmm. It's kind of like cut through You're the crap. You're getting amazing, Benji. <laughs> um, I, use her, I use everything. The calming serum is amazing. If you have sensitive skin like I do, I love to just put some drops on at night on myself if my girls ever need a little calming because they tend to like yeah. you know how you can like touch someone's skin and, and it goes react. red right away this yeah. is perfect for that it's just it's just a simple no-brainer for me I know that when I'm using this I feel good I know she hasn't added any extra fluff in it that I don't have to feel concerned mm -hmm. about and um, and it and it and it's the mask is amazing which isn't here but the eye cream is great the cleanser is great the little hyaluronic little capsules, capsules that you can pop in the little glass vials I, I love all of it oh, cool okay. I will put that on you're my more list of a too. skincare junkie but um but I, I am too I, I and then I recognize this, this one that's oh, yeah. the last one this is like the last one so this one is another uh, just another skin cream this one's a little bit more it's got if you feel it it's got a little bit more of a um tap yeah it's um, an, um. Um, it's this is um. UB, which is yeah. the moisturizing skin cream, head to toe hydration. This has been in Space NK for a long time, and I think Cult Beauty, um, uh, Beauty Mart have got it too. But this is, Sam Chapman is obsessed with this. Yes, it's um, amazing. I mean, it really just kind of gets in moisture. You can just feel the difference, like already on my hand. Something feels... I only did recently, which seems really strange, but I, um, a girlfriend of mine, Trini, who you may or may not know, but she's just mm -hmm. um, done her own line and she she did this quick clip where she used Embryolise and I won't use Embryolise because it's mineral oil based right, and I'm not right. a fan but she said, she said no darling use it to refix your refix or some random word that she yeah. made up for when you're doing your makeup and you're going out because it's such a good thick base if you treat yeah. it more like a primer than skincare I could yeah. get my head around that yeah yeah so I did it and my skin went thanks very much I will look Isn't much better funny? now so that's the same theory really as this and this, right, something right. a bit thicker to yeah. give a bit more density to your skin, even if it's temporary. And, and it's all about where you're placing it on your skin too. Mm -hmm. And knowing like how you can just, you can absorb it. And then if you feel like, oh, I, I went overboard, I added too much, then you, you can blot it yeah, down. Yeah, you can literally get a tissue it's, and just take off just, excess. That's like about blending the face, blending, you know, you can blend things, you can let things soak in, you give things a few minutes to do their thing, you know, you kill some time. That's what I always do. Do you do your own makeup with thumbs? Um, well, my fingers, fingers. Yeah. I sculpt too. Clay. Yeah. With uh, clay. I can tell because you've yeah. got the thumb. Do yeah, thumb. but I always like, I've always done blush like this. It's yeah. funny, a, a friend of mine who's a makeup artist, she's like, the thumb thing is so your thing. I'm like, I really? It. I just never knew that. I thought like a lot of people. Well, no, do when thumbs. you came at me and you went like this, I was like, thumbs! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank you so much for. Oh, oh you, you literally landed, what, yesterday? Yeah, yes. Poor, mm. poor Jillian, she arrived and basically was like, can I please have a coffee? Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't even had any caffeine. So, and, I'm here. and you're no. flying out this afternoon. I'm flying out this afternoon. Oh my god. That's right. Thank you so much Thank and you. safe flight home. Thank you. And I it's will be watching from afar. And also what we didn't put in is there's this whole jewellery thing going on, which oh, I'm yeah. gonna Julian mm. also makes jewellery, which <laughs> just so you know, Mr. Hirons, I'm buying up for Christmas. Thanks <laughs> very right. much. Bye everyone! Bye.